Hello everybody. Yesterday we looked at the Portugal jersey. What I didn't mention back then is that I think this was Portugal's tournament. <laughs> it is funny that they won it four years later, but I actually thought that Portugal had the best chance of beating Spain in the tournament. And for that reason, I think Ronaldo was about to take over this tournament, uh, never quite managed. And yeah, they were the only team that really gave danger to Spain. The other one was Italy in the opener, which was kind of unexpected. And this Italy shirt is the one we're looking at. Portugal's limited in the semifinals. Italy made it to the final. And they were wearing this shirt at this tournament. I remember when I first saw it in the same in the same catalog where I saw the Dutch away jersey. I said, this looks odd. The collar. I like that they put the Italian flag on there. That was an immediate winner, but that, that it's white and the way it is cut, I never quite understood it. Uh, this button opening is all right. It's actually a functional opening. So there, there are two buttons that you can open, uh, which, which is a nice thing. So I was not too fond of this jersey initially, but Italy made it to the final. And I said to my wife, I'm sorry, I really need to get this Italy jersey. They played such a great tournament. Yes, they got beat, a beat down against Spain, but this is the jersey where they won against England in the penalty shootout, where Pirlo, and of course this is a Pirlo, scored that penalty. This was for me a masterclass of how you take a penalty in a penalty shootout to shift the momentum. And of course they beat Germany in that one, which was by far the greatest game of the entire tournament, um, in my opinion. Uh, that was the game, the tournament was kind of plodding around and then it needed Germany against Italy, as always, to light up the tournament and light up they did it. Balotelli's two goals, I will never, uh, never forget, never forget. I was so excited about that one. This one made the last time that I really pulled out a loud, loud cheer. I remember my little Sophia <laughs> sitting next to me, but that was really a big one, so I just needed to get this shirt. And the more I look at it, the more I like it. Um, again, the color is still odd to me. They released uh, 1982, um, you know, tribute version where this was a blue color, which I liked a lot better. But of course, this was twice the price. So yeah, got this one. I think it was a UK soccer store or soccer shop, UK soccer shop, where I got this off because. Uh, at the World Soccer Shop that would have been given, they didn't have the uh, right printing. And I think this jersey sold, sold very quickly. The first thing when I put this on is this is a super light material, super, super light, as the Austria jersey that I showed you a few days ago. Uh, the other thing that is very interesting is that this crest here is on its separate material, which is um, ironed on, maybe even a little bit stitched. And then this is plastic, very, very durable plastic. It's not like the um, plastic transfer. This is a real solid piece of plastic that has quite some stru um, structure to it. If you hear what I say. I never was fond of that crest. Um, I think with the four stars, they made it nicer because the initial was a little bit wider. But yeah, then it had this have this weird V wing pattern in there that I never quite understood, but it's all over. So yeah, maybe Italy fly, Italy fly. The Puma cat is also this plastic transfer, which is completely different to the Austria jersey from the same season where everything is uh, stitched on. And then of course there's the front number. Um, I needed to get the Pirlo. This was still when I got numbers, but Honestly, the numbering style, horrible. I hated that one. And if you look at the back, this was still when Puma all put everything in lowercase letters. And then here, it just doesn't look right. And if you look a little bit closer, it already shows. It just has a hint of wear and tear to it. So um, I basically have retired this shirt until I find a way to be able to preserve this. It's also very interesting in terms of ventilation. We have under the arms some ventilated material and of course the entire back. If you look at it a bit closer, is all ventilation, which actually makes it very nice to wear. So I really love to wear this. Uh, interesting thing is also the tag here, which contained a QR code where you got to the Puma website, of course. 
um, yeah, on the inside the four stars and the logo. The collar on the back is actually interestingly um, stitched down, so you cannot pull it up. This is all it does. There's not much more. I think if this collar, I might even be okay with it being white. I would like it blue better. But if this was a regular collar, this would be an absolute slam dunk. I'm not sure about the wing pattern. Overall, I think it's a pretty nice Italy shirt. Gotta say that. I'm very happy to have it. There are just a few things that I don't like about it. Let me know what you think about this jersey. If you have any memories with that one, of course, that penalty by that guy. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And we have one more shirt from Euro 2012 to look at, which is going to be a special one. I'm going to show it tomorrow. I'm going to show it now. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.